If you're looking to get your launchers gold and platinum, you've come to the right place. We'll be going over the best methods and strats to help get them done. And if you're looking for anything specific, timestamps are in the description. And if you have any tips to help with this grind, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Before we get into using these little shits, obviously you gotta pick a launcher. There's four launchers in this game, the Pila, Joker, Strela P, and the RPG. This is also the order I recommend you grind them in. These launchers are all unique from one another, so the approach to leveling and grinding them will be as well. The Pila and Joker are both lock-on launchers, meaning once fired, they'll head directly for whatever it's aimed at. Kinda. The Pila shoots directly at the lock target, and the Joker goes all the way the fuck up in the air first, then heads down towards whatever you're aiming at in two to three business days. The Strela P and the RPG are free fire launchers, meaning it only goes where it's aimed at. It won't change direction to chase score streaks. The Strela P is almost hit scan at short to medium ranges. It'll hit exactly what you're aiming at within 30 ish meters the second you pull the trigger. This thing shoots fast, and just a little warning, it doesn't have the most splash damage, so make sure you're aimed right at whatever you're trying to take out. The RPG is pretty similar to the Strela. It shoots a little slower, but has a lot more splash damage, so you just need to shoot near whoever you're trying to take out. The launcher's first and only regular challenge is unlocked at level 11, so you got some grinding to do. You can get weapon XP from shooting down enemy score streaks, equipment, blowing other players up, or by beating them to death like I would have to ET with a hammer if I found that fucker living in my shed. If you're launch curious and not sure if you want to dive headfirst into the grind, you can start out by setting the launcher as your secondary while you normally play and take out score streaks as they come in for some XP. But that'll take you forever and you'll probably forget about it like they forgot to put hardcore in the game at launch. If you want some real XP, fully commit to using the launcher full time and hop into Battlefield Light otherwise known as Invasion. Invasion is an all-out war with bots on the enemy team. Killing these bots is usually easy. They're pretty clueless, so you can take out a group of them with a rocket or walk up to them and melee them. They will give you weapon XP. And just a quick note, because I feel the need to make this clear, you will not get camo progress for this with any weapon. Killing the bots only gets you XP. Not any camo progress, you have to kill actual players for that. Outside of invasion, ground war also works, but I think evasion is more efficient for leveling. Besides taking out the bots, you can take out any and every enemy player, streak, vehicle, and equipment you see. And after you get a little bit into a game, there will be a crazy amount of enemy UAVs coming in. So if you're using a lock-on launcher, this is XP sitting there waiting for you to blow it up. You can try this with the non-lock-on launchers, but it takes a bit of practice to aim it, and in my opinion, isn't worth the time just for some levels. For the non-lock-on launchers, focus more on killing and taking out easier-to-hit vehicles. If you end up running out of rockets, you can go up to any of the ammo caches and refill up to two rockets. The max amount you can have on yourself is three, but there is a cooldown timer on these caches, so you can't just sit there and use unlimited rockets. And obviously, double weapon XP makes this process a lot faster, so if you have some, use them. The class I recommend using for leveling up is as follows. For your perks in the base category, I recommend using the Bomb Squad perk to help survive explosive damage and double time to run away from danger and run two people in streaks faster. For the bonus perk, I really recommend using Spotter, but you can use Fast Hands too. Spotter high highlights enemy streaks, field upgrades, and vehicles. And Fast Hands helps you reload, use equipment, and swap weapons faster. For the ultimate perk, I recommend Overclock because it lets you store an additional field upgrade and lets them recharge 40% faster. Quick Fix is also a good option because your health will start regening instantly upon getting a kill, and it gives you faster health regen while on an objective. If you don't have these perks unlocked, I recommend using the Hunter Perk Preset Package. The field upgrades I recommend are the Munition Box and Tack Insert. The Munition Box will replenish your rockets, ammo, and grenades. The Tack Insert will allow you to respawn where you placed it, which is super useful and can save you a lot of time when playing on these larger map modes. For your lethal, you can use anything that it can take yourself out or help do damage to other vehicles. The reason why you want to take yourself out is just in case you run out of rockets and there's no munition box or ammo crate nearby. But for the tactical, stuns and flashes are good to hold people in place for easier kills, and smokes can make it easier to get close to and melee people. Stims are also pretty solid for getting health back. Now that our launchers are leveled up, we can start working on its base camo challenge. All you have to do is get 40 kills. It's the same challenge for each launcher. The class I recommend using for getting kills is the same for all the launchers. Use Bomb Squad, Double Time, or Extra Tactical for your base perks. For the bonus perk, use Fast Hands. And for the ultimate perk, use Quick Fix. For your tactical, use Smokes, Flashes, or Stuns to help go for melee kills. For your field upgrade, if you have it unlocked, use Dead Silence to help sneak up on people. If not, use the Munition Box. I recommend you play Objective base modes for trying to go for these kills. Modes like Hardpoint, Domination, and Headquarters can all make enemies go into a single spot, making it easier to get multiple kills at the same time. And those games usually last longer, so you get more opportunities to get more kills. For the playstyles with the Pila, RPG, and Strela P, 
you can get away with playing kind of aggressive, sending rockets at anyone you see, and beating faces in with hunks of metal. You can still commit aggravated assault with a joker, but sending a rocket out takes a little finesse. Remember, after firing a rocket, this thing actually takes forever to hit the ground. So whoever you're aiming at will probably be gone by time it lands. So I recommend trying to stay as far out of sight from others as you can and lock on to high traffic spots. I like to stand on cars or other random shit in the spawn to send it toward the enemy side of the map. Also, randomly shooting it works better than it probably should. So don't be afraid to send it in random spots. Just be aware of what's in front of you so you don't blow yourself up. Difficulty dumb easy. Once you're done getting all your kills, you'll knock the gold challenge. For this, you'll need to get two kills without dying five times with the Pila, Strelopi, and the RPG. For the Joker, you need to do this 10 times because fuck you. That's why. This is basically the same thing as the previous camo, so I recommend using the same class setup. Aiming for double kills helps a lot, like taking out multiple enemies with one rocket on an objective, or taking out a vehicle with a few enemies in it. You can try camping near entryways to melee unsuspecting enemies, or be an extra gremlin like myself and go for drop shot melee kills with the launchers. Just really focus on keeping yourself alive and don't play super aggressive. Slow and steady wins the race. Difficulty? frustrating as hell. And for our platinum challenge, you need to destroy enemy score streaks, equipment, or vehicles. The number of these you need to destroy varies per launcher, but for the RPG and the Joker, you need to destroy 10. For the Pila, you need to destroy 15. And for the Strela P, you need to destroy 25. This is a lot less than what we're used to seeing in previous games, but it still sucks copious amounts of ass. I recommend using the same class setup that we used for leveling the launchers up. And for this method, I'm going to split this up between the lock-on launchers and the non-lock-ons because it's going to be a little different. For the lock-ons, you can get this done pretty quick in one to three games of invasion. There's going to be plenty of UAVs that get called in during the game, so sit back, relax, and take those out. The helicopters that bring in the bots also count for this challenge too, so shoot those bad boys down. Additionally, what I did for this is go after anything that the spotter perk outlined in red until I saw the little trophy pop up, letting me know that I completed the camo. For the non-lock-ons, you don't have the luxury of mindlessly taking out UAVs, so I recommend hopping into ground war instead. In ground war, there's a lot more player-controlled vehicles there that are a little easier to hit with a non on lock on launcher. The ATVs and the rover type vehicles are usually a one shot to take out, but aren't that common and can get away from you quick if you don't hit your shot. You'll see tanks and APCs a lot more often, so here's a few tips for taking them out. Most of them are going to take more than the three rockets you have to take out, so what I did was shoot one rocket, hit it with whatever my lethal was, hit and reload, hit it two more times with my rockets, grab some extra rockets from the munition box or an ammo cache, and keep laying the wood. To make it easier, play around where the ammo caches are at, and I recommend using the smoke grenade to hide yourself from reloading or grabbing more ammo. Both of these vehicles take around four to five rockets to take out, but if you see the disabled vehicle pop up, you're normally good to move on to the next one. It just might take a little bit for that disabled vehicle to explode. There are also critical hit points if you shoot it right where the asshole the vehicle would be. Hitting these crit points can help you take out the vehicles faster, but it doesn't seem too consistent. You can also take down helicopters if you think you can hit the shot, but they take around three to four rockets. But you could get lucky and scare the pilot out of the vehicle, and if the helicopter crashes, you'll get credit for taking it down. It's a bit of a grind, but if you got the patience, you should be able to knock it out in a few games. Difficulty? God fucking awful. No offense to the Detroit Lions. Well, that's all I have for my launcher tips and tricks. If this helped you or you learned something new, drop a like on it. If not, dislike. Subscribe for more guides like this and other COD content. My Road to Polyatomic and Orion series videos where I complete the launcher should be up in the next coming days after this guide is posted. Go ahead and follow my Twitter to see my dumbass tweets. Check out my Instagram where I post every six months and join the Discord to find people to grind with. Well, good luck with your grind. I'll see you guys next time. Later.